Where is he? Where's that tweeter? There he is. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. We are doing a little vlog action today. Coming off, uh, coming off a big bass. Feeling pretty good about my life right now. And I'm gonna head out to the lake again. <clears throat> gonna go local waters and just try to get it done. Maybe just try to catch a few bass. And then we got some other big stuff happening here at the tree house. We have a new coop ready. So I'm actually gonna be doing a documentary series called The Quest for the Golden Egg over at the Lake Life Family Channel. It's basically um, our trials and tribulations trying to get a, a really, really healthy looking egg. Link down below for that channel. We need to go give our chickens a treat. So let's give them some mealworms. Ladies, come over here. Do you see yourselves? Is that what you're seeing? They're very fascinated by the camera. I've got mealworms. Oh yeah, get you some of that. Mmm. I'm starting to figure out the personalities. The one that is staring at the lens right now, or the LCD screen, she is uh, the sassiest. The one that is just eating voraciously out of my hand right now, she is the sweetest, and she is the always the first to the food, she's the first to the water. So I'll be doing more in-depth analysis on chicken health, care, homesteading, um, animal husbandry, if you will, over there at the Lake Life Family Channel. Just gonna give these little gals a treat. We're gonna be laying an egg here pretty soon, and we're gonna hit the water. Nailed it! If y'all are wondering if I still like my truck, yes, I do. I'm still really liking this truck. And, you know, actually yesterday on my trip, I always go back to this, but 15 and a half miles to the gallon with the silver bullet. So that's pretty good. One thing that's weird though is my truck asked me if I wanted to update it yesterday, like you would with your phone. Like I turned it on and it was like, new update available. Um, so I updated it, I don't know what it did. Maybe it gave me better gas mileage. And you also may notice I'm no longer in my driveway. I'm in LFD's driveway. If you're an old school fishing freak, you've been here for a minute. Years, y'all. Uh, some of my earliest videos were done in this driveway in uh, Old Red, as it was called. My old red boat that I had here. Um, all my tackle was in there. It was kind of split between here and Lake Ford, but to this day, there is a ton of tackle in there. LFD has a monster collection of all my old stuff, and he sometimes gives it out to people, kids, whatever. The reason I have this boat in the driveway right now is because Stephanie ordered a ton of mulch. Um, there's apparently a way to get mulch for free, um, but you don't know when you're going to get it. So there's a gigantic pile of mulch in my driveway. It's another duty of mine uh, on, the, on the lake life is I've got to I've got to spread some mulch around here pretty soon, and I've got to re-rock that driveway after the mulch is gone. So home projects, but right now it's time to dangle, and it's the dangle season. I think we're gonna be okay this afternoon. We're gonna be here 10% tomorrow. That's where you stay indoors. I've said this a lot lately, but this is why you fish this time of year. It's not about the numbers right now. Do that in the summer and fall. Right now, you could catch the biggest fish of your life. Big bellies, big bellies on them, getting ready to lay those eggs, big females. So, let's focus. Okay, y'all, got a recon on. This is that color I was talking about in my last video. Mud bug. Um, caught a number of seven pluses on it. I am cranking out on the main portion of the lake right now. Trying to get one of these hogs to come up and snap at it. Clap back on the mud bug. Well, there's a fish and I'm gonna catch him on the graph. Don't know how and I don't know when, but I'm gonna get him. Baby, get ready. Got him. Got that fish that was sitting on the rock. Oh yeah. Largey. 
Large you fallen victim to the spoon. On the crappie rod. Come here. Please. Barely get you in, boy. Barely get you in. Oh my goodness. Show y'all a little something right here. See how I got that fish right in the bottom of the chin? Sometimes that happens. The fish will be like trying to figure out what it is. They'll get right below it. And then you'll just boop, get them right there. That large mouth, it's got a little skin missing right there. That large mouth was sitting right on the end of a rock down there on the electronics. I know I'm singing a silly little song, but ended up getting a, a nice little, you know, two and a half or so bass. He plucked it pretty good. I wasn't sure if that was gonna be a crappie or a large mouth or what. I just, I only saw like a couple of signatures. So I think I, I think I might've got the only one there. Let's see, yeah, there's another one. I see him now. Little white spoon. It's not really what I wanna be doing in March. I'll just call him like I see him, y'all. Look at the electronics. Look at the water temps. Look at where I see fish and then uh, swing away at them. They're not big, but they're just sitting right behind this rock. You guys see them right here? Those are bass, they're just not moving. Come on, little dude. I mean, it's just right in their face. Daggum, I had like four fish right there, y'all. They just wouldn't, would not commit. So I'm gonna move on, I'm gonna move for them. Definitely just dropped a little, waypoint on them and can always come back later so the only bite i've had has been main lake a little deeper unfortunately but i'm but i'm just gonna roll with the punches here we look for a couple of uh, we're gonna look for a couple other little secondary points and then i'm gonna try up shallow the weather's not really gonna get any warmer it's just kind of flat line Oh yeah, oh yeah, this spot looks beautiful. Mm, I just had a moment. Broke my line off. Got a wind knot. Wow, just got a monster bite. See, my leader break. Leader broke, okay. I swung away way too freaking hard. Wow. Just take a moment here. Okay, I was just noticing something. I am uh, I am sitting in between two points. Okay. <clears throat> Main lake. Little spawning pocket right here. I notice fish sitting right here and right here. Basically where I am right now. There's a tiny little stick over there and I saw a shad flicking their tails on it. There's a couple of suspendos right there. Suspended fish. Then I saw a huge ball of shad moving through here. So, picked up uh, a little shaky head with a trench hog on it, threw it out there, got smoked, and just sat there with it. Like the fish didn't even move off, so. I don't know, that fish could have been on a bed, but boy, that really hurts my feelings. That really hurts my feelings. Some more movement right there. And look at the big, big nasty. Big nasties underneath. Jeez. God, Lee, that was a big hit. God, Lee, man. Look at those. Those are, those are three good sized bass. They're just sitting right here in between these points. I probably need to back off of it. But. This trolling motor on the way down though. <sighs> Just gain your composure. It's gonna be alright. <sighs> it's gonna be okay. I have a jig on. Come on, come on. That's a good one. Mm. 
God, oh, they're big ones back here. I knew it. Uh, yes, baby. In the dirt. In the daggum dirt. God, that one I broke off was a hammer. You know, it ate it just like that and it just didn't move. Oh, sweet baby girl. Ooh, 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 ooh. are you dropping eggs? No bloody tail yet, but you're moving up. Look at that. Juicy jig, y'all. Juicy jig, center of the face. Gotta love it. Had to switch up to a little bit bigger line. Went to 20 pound line, medium heavy action rod, and uh, whale. I am so proud of our Guggen Squad jigs and our plastics, y'all. They're just, man, this feels good. Okay, buddy, I'll let you go. Nice fish off the rocks. See ya. I'm gonna fish for a little bit more, and if I don't get another bite, I don't get another bite, but there are big ones that'll lead to jig, and that's why I'm gonna do it. Just found out I gotta go on a road trip this afternoon as well. So, time is of the essence. Let's get jiggy with it. Again, we're looking at a different, a different uh, fork right here. And these fish are sitting, I see some fish just sitting in the trough, like they're not committed. I know I said I was gonna continue throwing a jig. I kinda lied, I apologize for that. I'm throwing a different form of a jig, just cause I know these, these fish are hugging the bottom, they're gonna be hard to catch. I'm dragging a rattling Ned. See if I can pick one of these fish up, see how big they are. I don't think they're as big as the other fish I was looking at. There's about five or six of them that are just calmly waiting for conditions to be prime. And here's the thing that's also happening, guys. I, uh, this was like right before I broke that fish off, so I got all flustered. I was gonna talk about it, but uh, there's a shad spawn going on. There's a shad spawn going on in the back of these little creeks. I definitely saw a shad that was trying to lay its, its eggs on a little floating stick. And because it's overcast today, we have a longer low light conditions. Uh, I was able to see that. Normally they do it at night or first thing, you'll see it like in the evening, first thing in the morning at night. That's another reason for the bass to be back there, even though it's a little bit cold. They're just gonna get their fill in these shad and I think stay in these little, little ditches, little troughs, little forks until that water hits 60, 62, and then they're just gonna load up on the bank. No bites in that little pocket. I was gonna go back to the one where I originally caught fish, but there was a kayaker back there. And it uh, looked like he paddled a long ways. He was fishing really slow, bass fishing. So I think he deserves to catch a mondo back there. Very, very, very patient with his, his cast. I wish, I wish, I wish I could continue my jig quest a little longer, y'all, but I'm a responsible adult with kids. One child, actually, but I got things I gotta do. I got wifey dues. I got things I gotta do for this channel and our other Lake Life channel. So I'm gonna put it on the trailer. I'm gonna head up to HQ. I gotta drop this boat off because there's no room in my daggum driveway. And then I gotta pick up another trailer and then go get a very large house and put it on that trailer. Not a house for humans, it's a house for birds. And it's a long ways away. So let's get to ripping. Down at the tree house. Always projects going. <clears throat> 100K tree house. Thank you for subscribing. Go ahead. It's linked down below. Um, you can watch more of this. <laughs> um, what are you? Is that a pot? It's a. Uh, it's a pot. This is the only. This is the only bucket that I found in the garage. That's not a bucket. But that was the only container that I found in the garage. Well, at least you got your little helper over here. Yeah, she's been eating sticks and rocks. Well, uh, this is why I can't put my boat in the driveway.
You always gotta stop at the Bucky's, ladies and gentlemen. Just left the HQ, do a little check on the trailer here. I think this is Lunker's TVs, could be John B's. Don't really know. It's kind of like a, uh, just a vehicle, a used vehicle lot up there. Anyways, we are hooked up, we're looking good, and we're gonna go get our cargo. Well, two hours and 20 minutes later, we got ourselves a chicken house, y'all. Time to haul it home. It's getting dark, I'm running out of light. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna do like a tour, a tour of this house uh, at the Lake Life Family Channel if you want, but anyways, Fishy Freak made it for me. Uh, he did this one on a cedar, and um, he actually had a buddy with him. He had some Mondo worms for me to sign when, when they arrived, so anyway, it's kind of cool. Fishy Freaks all over the place. Love you guys very much. And since we were running out of light, we were gonna shut it down right here at old Big Boy's Record Service. Odd ending, odd ending to a vlog, but anyways. Stay tuned, we're gonna be getting more chickens, filling up the house, coming up on the channel very soon. I hope you guys learned something in the fishing realm today, and thank you for coming with me all over this place, all over the state of Texas. And speaking of that, we're gonna be doing a lot of traveling once we get back for the Bassmaster Classic, which I will be at this weekend. That was a very large tube thing. I don't know what was in there, but that was one of the biggest tubes I've ever seen on the highway. Anyways, guys, go ahead and subscribe right here so you don't miss a single video. Smash that like button for sniffing the largies, and I'll see you on the next one.